Good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, this is April the Cool Gardener, and I'm coming to you today with a video of me canning cubes of beef. Uh, this is, I've been canning fruits and fruit jams and things like that. Um, I'm actually going to pressure can uh, these cubes of beef here. Um, so I'm just getting started. I've got everything set up ready. I've got a dip or a little vinegar in the cubes of beef. Um, just a tad bit in the water, so I'm still cleaning that. Uh, what I'll do next now, I have my jars here. And these have not been washed nor sterilized. So I'm going to, uh, of course, wash them. Uh, take these lids and rims off and sterilize those and um, wash wash those sterilize those and get all of that ready um and then i have and that's then i'm going to sterilize the actual jars and this uh this is called this is the water steamer so like this is for when you like with my jams that i've been um canning um this is what we would use but here's the little part that comes out the great thing about these water steamers here and there's inside of it. Um, but the great thing about these, and this has already been washed and everything, but um, the great thing about these is that you can use these little water steamers for not just sterilizing your cans or steam uh, watering uh, your uh, cans when you're putting away um, your fruit jams and your fruits and things like that. Um, but with meat, I mean with um, like say you're sterilizing vegetables, broccoli, uh, lobster, you can actually use these for that as well. So just to let you know that. Um, this is actually my actual pressure canner that we'll be using once we get the jars, everything in the jars, the meat in the jars, uh, following all directions. And we'll show what we do before we put the jars in this uh, actual steamer. See, this is a steamer that we'll have well, we have to actually read um, in time, and that's that's the really important. I've already sealed uh, my room with oil, as you see here, and this is just to keep your uh, pressure canner from sticking. So I've already done that, but let's get to I'm going to get to now uh, washing these cans, washing the lids and the rims, and we will then put them in there steamer to get sterilized and then i'll put them in the oven actually because we want to keep the jars and these are kind of small but these is all that i um had uh well they had online at the time that i was ordering these i've had these first <laughs> believe it or not several months now um, i usually use my ball uh canners but i want to use these so um what was i gonna say okay i thought i lost my train of thought um Okay, so I'll just get to washing and, oh, I was telling you about after I, we steam them in here, after we steam them, we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to let them stay warm in the oven until our meat is ready to go in. And that's going to go in hot as well. So that is why we're going to keep the jars hot. You have to keep your jars hot when you're putting in hot. So that's just uh, what we, we have to do. And um, what I'm gonna do now, before I get to actually start washing the cans, I do have a canning book that helps me. And I wanna see if there is any um, special recipe that I would need, or do I just go with the meat, the cubes of meat, put it in there, uh, the water that I use to boil it with um, and follow the measurement distance from the rim to the water space, which is usually most of the time about an inch. But I want to see if there's anything, uh, anything special that I'm needing, anything other than just that, that I'm needing to place inside of the jar. So I'm going to just read up a little more information and I will be back to show you all, um, after I have cleaned, washed the jars and sterilize the jars and when they're in them so once they're in the oven then we'll move on to the next step 
Okay. Okay, great. Thanks for uh, coming back with us. So we're on our next step now. Uh, what I'm doing is I am going to go ahead and wash my jars here. And let me show you what I will do after that. And yes, I'm manually washing each jar. Okay. And also the lids that come with the jars. And rinse them out really good. And as we rinse them, we are actually going to go ahead and put them in the steamer. I mean, in the, uh, the water to be sterilized. And what that means is this is our, um, excuse me, the canner to sterilize. I'm going to use this canner to sterilize the jars. And we're just going to put our lids right in that water to be sterilized. This has not gotten hot yet, so I'm, that's why you see me placing them in there like that. All right, so I'm going to continue on with getting my jars ready, and I'll be back to our with our next step. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so we're needing to get this, make sure we have at least one inch of head space here. Push that in there. Let's see what we got here. We're also removing any air bubbles at the same time. That's sticking this down in there. Okay, let's pack this a little bit here. Make it, in, yeah. All right. Now, remember, once you get your, let's go on to the next one here. Okay. It's kind of hot here. Okay. And remember now, we've already put our uh, half a teaspoon of salt in these four that we're um, preparing. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this one, getting some broth in there. All right, and let's do our measuring, make sure that it's at least one inch from the lid. Okay, and let's do push it all down there. And that actually sometimes give it just a little bit more room. That's why you're seeing me measuring just a little more than an inch. Because usually when we get the air bubbles out and we stir that around, we're leaving that one inch space. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. And before we move on to the next one, I'm just going to show you what we will do. Now we have our vinegar here. Um, so once we get all of these filled up, we're going to take our, like a paper towel, and just dab it into the vinegar. And you will need to be sure to clean this rim. Oh, this is hot. Ouch. Okay. Clean it very well. Just going to clean that one as well. Okay. Very good. Clean it very well. All right. Now we will get our uh, two lids out of here. That's been sterilizing. Let's put these over here. Let's just go ahead and get this one and put on here. Okay. All right. And come on, back over here. Okay. So once we do that, now this is very important, guys 
too. We want to make sure that we are properly, properly sealing these on. Now we're going to put the rings on the lids. We'll screw the rings on. Fingertip tight. Just like that. Okay, screw the rings on. Oh, those glass jars are hot. Fingertip tight. Okay, then we're going to take these and put them in our canner. And we're going to move on and take care of the rest. I'm going to go ahead and turn this pressure cooker down because it is actually starting to get hot there. All right, and I'll be back to show the finished cans, guys. Thank you. All right, so I've let the steamer cool down. As you can see, still bubbling just a little. These are cool. Now we're gonna let them sit out for 24 hours before we're gonna take the uh, the rim off. And there we have it. Some, see that bubbling? Look at that. Looks really good. Okay. <clears throat> well, here's some canned uh, beef cubes. And I'm going to, once they cool down a little more, I'll date them for today and put them away. All right, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for. Uh, watching my experience with my first time canning meat um, but I thank you so much please subscribe to my channel um, any information that may help in the future be sure to comment below and please like and click on my notifications thank you so much everybody have a good evening